Hey guys, Brian Eckberg here in Los Angeles for pre-E3 coverage here at Electronic Arts. I'm here with Ryan Ferwerda. We're talking about Madden NFL 11, specifically online team play. I want to talk about what online team play is all about, but let's talk first about online co-op, which was introduced in Madden 10. Talk about that and tell me about uh, what you learned from that and, and what you wanted to do with online team play. Yeah, so online co-op was a two versus zero experience. Um, it was sort of our first foray into co uh, excuse me, cooperative gameplay. Uh, we understand Madden's a very competitive game, and we want to give gamers a way to sort of not always get killed, <laughs> right? I mean, that's kind of what, what it came to. And also we felt that cooperative gameplay was sort of the future. We wanted to start to take those steps. We learned some really big things from co-op. While it was a success, there were some issues we noted. You know, cameras was a big thing, um, not being able to play other teams, um, and just generally it was sort of people wanted more. So, you know, logically the next step was online team play. So with online team play, you, you've expanded it to three players on a team, but uh, it, it, talk about how it's organized. How, how, how do you play this game with, with two other players? Yeah. So uh, it's, we like to call it squad-based play. So it's online, as you mentioned, it's three on three. Um, it's actually any permutation of three on three. So it can be three versus zero, two versus one, three versus two, two versus zero. And you know the zero is really important because it allows you to practice. Um, how you play is it's squad based like I mentioned so there's three squads per side of the ball so there's quarterbacks running backs and wide receivers on defense there's a defensive line linebacker and cornerbacks or excuse me defensive backs um, and within that what that means is you're able to play any of the positions or excuse me any of the players within that position group so for wide receivers it's wide receivers and tight ends but the nice thing is you're not sort of managing 11 guys you're only managing your group there's also position specific responsibilities within each squad so quarterback can call plays and audible for example wide receiver can hot route um, his own specific position sort of emphasizing NFL being the ultimate team sport sort of you have to take care of your stuff and I have to take care of mine for us to win Exactly. Uh, and on the defensive side, linebackers are calling plays and defensive linemen, yeah. Yep. Yeah, and there's also team captains as well on both sides. Team captains I kind of refer to as the team administrator. Uh, they can, uh, you know, set depth charts, set penalties and things like that. Okay. So, and th explain the any, because there's also an any option. What is that all about? Yeah, so within each group, there's also an any on offense and defense. Uh, what that means is you can control any player on the field that's not controlled by another user. So if, let's say, you and your buddies want to play two wide receivers and have your other friend be a quarterback, you can do that. So uh, sort of, uh, you know, the classic Madden way of giving users ultimate flexibility, it's kind of our version of that again. When you're talking about online team play, can you talk about how it's changed in development, what you guys have play tested, and what you've learned as you've developed this feature? Yeah, so one thing we've really done with online team play is make sure that all the decisions we made were backed up by play tests and data. Um, our great designer on the feature, Yuri, uh, was always in our play test lab, getting people from everywhere finding out, and, and you know, honestly, every demographic, every, uh, you know, from the most casual fan and the most hardcore guy, and kind of getting their opinions and feedback on how to do the feature. So we started with a really good design, but during development, things especially like cameras, yeah. we tested cameras all the time. You know, one week it's these cameras, next week it's these cameras, which ones do you like? And kind of, kind of honing in, and I think your experience here has shown we have a really good, compelling camera that especially compared to co-ops, just blows it away. Well, that's the thing. It's like that was one of the criticisms of the co-op play was the cameras sometimes. Can you talk specifically about what how cameras are different this time around? So cameras this year are still position specific. So if you're still a wide receiver, you'll still have a wide receiver focused camera. The difference is this year, you kind of see the entirety of the field. You're not as close. Um, and there's lots of tons of dynamic things. So if you're a running back, once you get the ball, it almost moves into a third person view, which is great for a running back, but not ideal for a wide receiver. So we sort of take it... Uh, you know, we take into account all the scenarios and different situations that you have. So, you know, as a quarterback, you're throwing it and you see the guy running down the streak. Oh, there he goes. You know, and just like a real view as a wide receiver, catch the ball, comes right in on the ball carrier. I noticed that because you can play as uh, two wide receivers, a, a running back and a wide receiver, and potentially have the computer controlling your quarterback, that puts a lot of responsibility on, that, on your AI. Can you talk about that? Yeah, obviously, uh, when you are letting the AI make lots of decisions, you got to make sure it's robust. And we spend a ton of time making sure that, you know, when it throws, it doesn't always just throw the route. It'll throw to you. It'll make sure it kind of accounts for where you're going to. Um, you're right. It, it requires a lot of stuff, and we're really happy with, with, with the way it's turned out. And uh, one of the new features we learned about a couple weeks ago was Gameflow. That also works here. Can you talk about that? Yeah, absolutely. Gameflow, uh, much like the rest of Madden, is totally available online and actually works phenomenal. Um, kind of emphasizes the uh, my responsibility. And for those of you guys that don't know, Gameflow is a uh, all-new way of calling plays. It runs a game plan. You don't head to play call anymore. Um, basically, your coach or I should say coordinator calls the plays for you. He steps to the line, tells you what to do, how to do it, and where to do it. 
Um, the really cool part about it is that if you don't want to use Gameflow, we also have a session type where you can search Gameflow off and you can play with all the other guys that want to play with Gameflow. So again, customization, customization. And we should point out that because this is team play, even if you're using Gameflow, we've got to communicate on the same team. Communication is key. Uh, again, Yuri would say that over and over again. Uh, you know, you have to talk to each other, just like real football. You have to say, I'm doing this, I'm running this route, I'm breaking off, here's where I'm going or to be successful. Um, we've also added some other elements, like as a wide receiver, you can press the A or X button, wave your hand in the air, arrow above you will tell you, you know, I want the ball. And there's other communication parts within the game, but definitely, you know, VoIP is going to be super huge here. you got to talk to each other. When you guys were developing this, was there ever, like right now, wide receivers can choose their own hot routes. Was that ever a quarterback's responsibility, and why did you give it to the wide receivers? Um, initially, uh, you know, we really were just kind of honing on the design. We always wanted each position to have its own specific responsibility. So we always, uh, excuse me, hot routes always made sense with wide receivers, what they do. But yeah, things like, uh, you know, should the QB always call plays? You know, should, let's say I'm a good quarterback, but I'm a bad play caller. What do I do there? And so we ended up just kind of, again, you know, using play tests and usability feedback and kind of honing in on what people expected, which is one of the reasons linebackers call plays. Cool. And tell me about squad accomplishments. So within each squad, so again, quarterback, running back, wide receiver, there's uh, accomplishments within each group that you can, uh, uh, check off the game permanent bonuses towards your ability to play. So as an example, let's say I'm a quarterback, pass for 500 yards and seven touchdowns, I get certain bonus in one game, excuse me, you get a, yeah, not not overall, uh, you get certain bonuses. Uh, so in one case, you'll get, say, like a 2% in increase to awareness, 2% increase to short accuracy, and 2% to middle accuracy. That stays permanently with you. So it kind of uh, entices gamers to play all the squads, um, learn different ways to play, and play successfully. That's It's really cool that it stays with you all the time, and when you go on to team select, you can actually see what percentage the other people have. So let's say you're in with a, a random group of friends, or excuse me, a random group of guys you play with, not necessarily your friends, and you don't know who's good at what. You see a guy's 100% quarterback, you're like, dude, you're playing quarterback because you're going to be way better than us. And again, it doesn't matter, it's not so much about the, the player in the game, it's about you as the player. And we really want to reward that and your accomplishments and success. All right, cool. Well, online team play is coming soon, as is Madden. Could you have a final release date for it? Uh, yeah, Madden NFL will be available on August 10th. All right, thanks, Ryan. Appreciate it.